This is John Del Vecchio from Street Skills. In this video, I'll show you how to properly set up a trailer to carry motorcycles and how to load them. Do these things and you'll be able to load your motorcycle quickly and securely. This is your typical 5x8 tractor supply landscape trailer. They work really well for hauling motorcycles. Now this particular trailer has an oversized wheel on it and it just gives me more peace of mind. When I drive along, I just make sure these bolts are tight and I feel for the hub to make sure if it's warm, if it's really hot, that means my bearings could be overheating, I could be in trouble. So I carry with me an extra bearing for this particular model in case I had to make a roadside repair. And I also have a full size tire uh, that matches this exactly because these tires typically just burst into a thousand pieces. They don't just go flat or get a hole that you can repair. Here are some of the features I like about this trailer and the things I've done. First of all, you're going to want to have proper tie down points. These are eye bolts I got from Home Depot and you really don't want to be monkeying around with where you're going to actually put the the carabiner clips or whatnot, your hooks. You want to make sure that you actually have some really, really good eye bolts or proper rings. Now I also put just a simple 4x8 piece of plywood. There is about a 6 inch gap on each side, but, but that's not of much concern to me. These are Harbor Freight wheel chocks and what I really like about these is that you have kind of a, a wedge design that holds up the bike so once you roll your motorcycle up into it it holds it and you don't have to worry about the mo motorcycle falling over when you're tying it down. Now I have three because if you have one motorcycle it's probably better to put it in the center of the trailer and if you carry two you're going to use the outside too. It's not set up like this so that you would carry three motorcycles at the same time. Another thing I would advise is to get some tread tape. I bought this from Harbor Freight and this is usually where I would walk up the, the trailer ramp and I also ran some along the edge of the trailer here because when you're loading two bikes if one's in the far side and you have to kind of run the other one up you could easily slip on this metal material if it gets a little damp and I just like to give myself a little extra grip loading the motorcycle because I do find that I jump right up on there oftentimes as I'm loading the motorcycle. So up here by the hitch we want to make sure we do a couple of things. First of all we want to use the chains to hold but I also use a pin that is lockable and you can see the coupler pin there I it has a lock on it and it's the same lock to this one here so that nobody runs off with your trailer uh, just secures things a little bit better also when you're talking about security we don't want this to come loose for whatever reason um, and swing around because that could catch uh, if we go into a dip or something and so we want to make sure that we have some method of connecting this uh, permanently. I also use a, a carabiner to connect the wiring harness to the chain so that it's not flopping around. An easy way to check your trailer lights is to turn your actual car lights on and then the, uh, the actual hazards and you can see the lights flashing. Now one of the reasons why I carry this extra magnetic set of lights for my when I use my trailer is because the the left one over here I had a tap on it to get the flashers to work and this one over here on the right uh, I had to actually take off the screws and, and move the bulb around there in there for it to work. Now I was able to get them to work but if they're not working you gotta have a backup plan. This is what I typically keep in my travel crate. Obviously bags with a variety of straps. These are my really good straps I'll be using to strap down my motorcycle. I also will get soft uh, seat belt cover things. I might want to wrap the straps where they might touch the body paint or whatnot. 
I have rags, a screwdriver to pry things, a hammer, um, extra pins and things. If I'm on the side of the road, it might be nice to have high vis. These are specific tools to remove my spare tire and the lug nuts on the trailer itself. I have another lug nut wrench, basic set of tools, just in case I'm gonna need something out on the road, pair of pliers. And this is a tire repair kit, not for the trailer itself, but for my car. And you wanna keep in mind that trailer tires typically don't get a hole in them that you have to patch. They typically just break apart. Piece of plywood, some extra gloves. I have the uh, anonymous book from the uh, BMW MOA, so people that might be able to help me out on the road. And just various, these are garbage straps, but they're in there in case I need them. I also like to keep just a lock, combo lock, in case I have to lock a motorcycle down to the trailer itself. When you're loading your motorcycle, you wanna make sure you have the least amount of incline here because as you go up the ramp, the bottom of your motorcycle could catch and that's gonna cause quite a surprise when you go to bring it up and it just grabs on the bottom there, your body work or part of your motor. You also wanna be careful if you're loading two bikes not to catch the, the edge here with a foot peg. I've done that as well. So you gotta kinda of be really careful about that. It's also a good idea to wear a proper shoe when you load your motorcycle. You don't wanna be doing it in flip-flops. The plywood can be uh, a little slippery when damp. And same thing with the metal ramp. We wanna be real careful if there's any moisture on the ramp itself.
Well, that's it. Enjoy your trips. Thanks for watching. If you ride a motorcycle, perhaps you'd be interested in my Cornering Confidence book and online course available at corneringconfidence.com. Please subscribe, like, share this video. I look forward to your comments and questions and have a great ride. Take care.